Hey Tubies, welcome back to the channel, where we dive deep into current events and share our thoughts on what's happening in the world. Today, we've got a fascinating story from Singapore that took place on September 1st, the day when Singaporeans were heading to the polls to elect their next president. So, picture this, a woman shows up at a polling station wearing a white top with pineapple prints on it. Now, you might think, what's the big deal? Well, it turns out, this seemingly innocent choice of attire raised some eyebrows. Why? Because it closely resembled a candidate's allotted symbol, and during the election period, there are strict rules in place to prevent any undue influence. The Elections Department, ELD, confirmed that this lady was advised by an election official to change her outfit. Why? Because the ELD has issued guidelines that voters should refrain from wearing clothing with prints identical to or closely resembling a candidate's allotted symbol when heading to the polling stations. Now, here's where the debate comes in, and this is where I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. On one hand, you could argue that these rules are essential to maintaining a fair and impartial voting process. After all, we want elections to be about candidates' qualifications and policies, not about who can cleverly sneak their campaign symbol onto their clothing. On the other hand, some might say that this level of strictness can be a bit excessive. Should a simple pineapple print really be considered that close to a candidate symbol? Does it genuinely have the potential to sway voters? That's a question we need to ponder. What's intriguing is that this incident took place in Woodlands Ring Primary School, and the location was independently verified. The voter, in this case, complied with the request to change her attire and return to cast her vote. But it raises larger questions about the balance between maintaining election integrity and not infringing on individual freedoms of expression. So, my friends, what do you think? Should there be stricter rules in place when it comes to attire at polling stations, or should we allow a bit more leeway for personal expression? I'm eager to hear your thoughts, so please leave your comments down below. And if you found this discussion interesting, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.